Okay, RBBL. Yeah, let me just breathe into the mic really hard. RBBL, match of the week. World Series game two, Vissery versus JY Knight. JY Knight is up 1-0 in the series. They are the away team this time around. Uh, JY Knight is using an incorrect file for their game, a B file. Uh, so anytime there is a play at first base covered by the pitcher or third base covered by the pitcher, it will come under scrutiny. And uh, you'll also notice the colors of the uniforms might be a little bit off. And then, yeah, so we'll see what it might come to a judge's decision by the end, but I'm going to keep track of the score as if, if there were no penalties. And of course, Vissery is the away or the home team. They'll get a bonus run for every five runs just because of the way the sixth inning works in baseball. Let's just go. Get right into it. It's the kickoff whistle. Hope everyone's doing well. No one's really chatting in the chat right now. Because I'm definitely not going to be talking about what's happening on screen for 90% of this. But we're going to start off with a home run. Uh, nice job by JY Knight to put one run on the board. That is... It's always nice to just start the game off with a plus one. I didn't even see how long this was. I think I know how long it is now. Clifford Floyd. Hey, Emery. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. We're here. You've... You're pretty familiar with World Serieses, Emery. What goes through your head as you're playing uh, by yourself in, uh, on a computer with the whole world not watching as you try and get to uh, plus 27, as you do commonly in the World Series do, get 27 runs? I imagine it's pretty tough. Just you and your thoughts, you know. All right, Cliff. No sprinting here from JY. I call. I would consider that a miss. Could have definitely threatened a faster throw. You say any mistake you make is going to cost so dearly. So always try to push the envelope and take more chances. Very stressful indeed. Take more chances. What? Great advice from a legend. That's a deep hit left, perfectly placed right on her shoulder. And then the throw, he knows that uh, Cliff is so fast, he's going to get out of the third. Um, aggressive. I think he took a chance there, and it didn't pay off, unfortunately. Emery, I think your advice was wrong. Um, 100 arm Serena, that's correct. She's slow, but she, her arm is fast. That is a caught and tossed and bounced off the head of Ahmed. Off his headphones. and Is the audio completely off? Yeah, the audio is completely delayed, so not going to bother with that. Turning off the audio for the game. So I don't know, maybe I think that was <laughs> probably JY Knight's recording. Uh, so anyways, he's the Mariners. He's still at bat in this first inning. Two outs, though, um, and he is threatening a hit and run here with the Ruth. Ruth is very um, great contact, so fouling him off like that is pretty strange. Phil is going to make it. That is a flub of a throw there from uh, Bobby Bullgreen. Big ups to... Uh, Vissery making it this far with Bobby Bullgreen, who is just so bad at defense. But somehow Bullgreen finds his way to the World Series once again.
a nice grounder. Everyone's playing back already so quickly, so early in the game. Turning audio off. It's just so darn distracting being delayed. Um, bases are loaded for Sophie Meyer. So we'll see what happens with Sophie. She's an all or nothing here hitter. She's going to need something juicier than that, I think. So he's going to take that ball. That's a foul of the way as well. You know, that wasn't so bad, but it's just going to be a grounder straight to Bullgreen, who just makes this massive throw over to first base. Now we see a bright white screen. Sorry for anyone who's laying in their bed at night and <laughs> just got flashed in the face <laughs> with a bright white <laughs> screen. Uh, you know, those things happen when you edit as fast as you can. Not a number porter up to bat. Uh, only one run by J.Y. Knight. Not an insurmountable deficit. I can't speak tonight. Um, one out. That's unfortunate for your leadoff. Batting DeMonte, too, is interesting. Not sure. Maybe that's just where you want to hide that your player that you're just going to get the hit and run with. Um, mm, two quick outs. Ken Griffey Jr. Banks, 777, lucky number. So I, I have a feeling he's going to tie it up here. Holy cow. That was the fastest line drive I've ever seen. Ken's moving. He's grooving. He's going to keep it, keep it safe on first. So just chilling on first. Lena's batting 823. She's got a little bit of pop. She can hit it to the outfield, but that's about it. Thank you for the pin there, Alex. And crazy yes, we're going to look for that for you. Ooh, that's an out. Um, so quick three outs there. Vissery, unfortunately, can't get any runs. And we're back to the top of the second for J.Y. Knight, who needs to increase this lead if they want to get a game two victory. So far, there haven't really been play any plays at first base in my mind. Crazy eights, so we're all good. It was a solo home run. I actually got the run. Ooh, Ahmed with the dive. Great effort play there from Ahmed. Ejen Martinez. The L's are pronounced like that. Um, fun fact, her name backwards is Nell. An incredible play from Ken Griffey Jr. Really getting that slow, the slow B out at first. Courtney's back up to bat. Let's see if she can continue her perfect game so far of one for one with a home run. Might go on the line drive again. That's not going to do it. She is unfortunately just going for the cycle. Set the single. Going to need a double and a triple. Next couple at bats. One base Hockman's the best. You know, you don't really need to be uh, listening at first base, right? You're mostly just kind of watching the ball, and then sometimes people throw it to you, and you catch it, and then you step on first base. So that's probably pretty good. I don't know how much listening you do in the outfield. Maybe, I guess, outfielders listen for the bat, the sound of the bat. Infielders, maybe a little bit. First base, and eh, you just let that ball go right by, anyways. Knights of Gloveville. Not sure what that means, Alex. Clifford. Ooh, bounce. A very nice bounce, actually, to Serena. That's going to be a tight play at home. That is close, but the catcher flubs it. Serena almost made the heck of a play there, throwing her out from 
the outfield. Uh, that's an RBI single there from Clifford. And now Phil, um, also known as the second best Phil to ever play Major League Baseball, Phil Nevin. Uh, if you know who the first best Phil to play Major League Baseball is, uh, we'll give you some channel points if that's possible. Uh, looks like a failed hit and run attempt. So he's not allowed to move anymore. Cliff is stuck on that base. Don't move me, Phil. Oh, wow. A great pitch by Bobby. She, uh, Bobby's already 32 pitches into the game. Not ideal. That's right, Alex. It's Phil Necro. Fun trivia fact. He's a Hall of Famer, Phil Necro, whereas Phil Nevin's only an all-star. One-time all-star. I don't think he's going to make it to the Hall of Fame, right? Philip. Yeah, I didn't count Phillips. Only Phil's. Phil, most valuable Phil uh, currently in this game is Phil Nevin. But Jimmy, Jimmy Rollins could uh, drive these two, uh, two runs and increase the lead with uh, two pretty good players on base. We got Phil and Cliff on first and second. Two balls, one strike. Bobby is trying to keep his team in the game a very bad pitch location but the outfield makes the play and the tag or in the uh, force out at second now we're back to the higher quality stream resolution of uh, Vissery who's the green Phillies in this one Amir Khan's feeling pretty pretty spicy today with playing with his brother uh, feeling like he's going to hit the ball really far as they uh, get power ups, of course, or uh, boosts to their stats, of course, when they're on the same team. Ne Phil Nevin is in the hall of pretty good. Phil Nevin's pretty good. We'll see how his coaching career goes, because he could make it through that. That might be his plan. Uh, Jimmy's shirt changes twice from white to green. Maybe he makes the out. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that phenomenon. Yep, his shirt is the wrong color sometimes. He's going back to get the ball. He's throwing his shirt. Yep, there it went again. But uh, anyways, it's a triple from Ahmed, possibly a home run. Oh, go back, go back, get back, get back, get back. That is a triple from Ahmed. We're going to keep an eye on that Jimmy Rollins shirt situation chat uh, as this game goes on. Uh, we'll see on, see why that's happening. Um, okay, Greg Vaughn hitting it uh, out of the park. That is going to give Vissery the lead at two runs to two runs. Um, Vissery does get a bonus being the home team, so you get a point two multiplier to your score. Now, basically, you just add one to every five. That's it. Wow, Bobby. Stay fair. It is not fair. But that was a good hit, Bobby. Greg, 65 power, Vaughn. Was that a power swing? Um, <clears throat> if you hit it down that line, you know, things good things can happen. Well, Bobby, nice job. Hit the outfield, got out. Right, right fielder threw you out. That happens when you're a slowbie. T glass up to bat. Looking to extend the lead. They're currently winning by .2 runs. Oh, easy play there, easy play there. Third out. Hmm. Ruth up to bat. Top of the third. Not as much scoring this game as perhaps other World Series games. But a little bit more scoring than last game, I think. If I recall correctly. I don't know when the runs came. Oh, it's point four runs? Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Thank you, uh, math consultant Nate. There's three balls right now. If Ruth was a good hitter, you would be like, yes, I'm going to hit something juicy. But you actually just want a ball that's on the left side of the plate so that you can hit it away from the first baseman and make the throw harder for uh, the pitcher or the th uh, third baseman because just a longer throw over there and
YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. Reading Alex's comment, the pause between math and consultant made me think you were just thinking, thinking math. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Oh, I can't get that. Is so funny. Oh. I'm not going to recover from that. I'm not. <laughs> yes, no one would be proud of that. I'm destroying the mic. Um. Yes, very fun, very good. Yes, I was thinking math uh, for for multiplication of numbers. All right, we got Ruth on third. You know, advancing players, moving them around, small ball. Sometimes you don't know how many runs the other person scored. One or two, you know, can do it. Uh. Sophie's up to bat, and I'm pretty sure Sophie's clone is Jason Giambi. Someone please correct me. That's wrong, right? Melissa Waters is the clone. Who is Sophie Meyer's clone? I don't know. I don't know these games anymore. Pujols. Gosh. I can't get the 2001s and the 2003s together, Emery. I'm, I'm just the color commentator. I'm not the analyst. That's juicy. He's going to take that for a ride. Taking that ride to Homer Town. One ticket, two tickets. We're taking Ruth with us. So Ruth and Sophie are going to Homer Town. Taking that bus, the 13 bus, all the way across town. Because that one went 335 feet. And that's how far that town, how far away that town is. Uh, that blimp's flying. Great home run by Sophie. I really enjoy JY Knight not pressing escape. I don't know where Shine Bloom is. He said he, he I think he's been just been busy. Basketball season. Let that been fly, as some would say. Really good pitch there in the dirt from Bobby. I don't know how much more he's got in him. You know, he's either gonna give up one more run or he's gonna run out of stamina. I think that stamina is gonna be the the issue for him. Surprisingly, actually, um, now Serena's up. She can not move her feet. She can't move at all. So I think that puts Bobby at second. And then Serena, wherever she gets moved to next, that's trouble. Oh, Ahmed with the play. Just picking that ball up and running to first base instead of tagging the runner like he should have. But I guess it's safer, you know. You never know what happens when you try and tag a runner. It's easier to tag a base that's not moving. That's a hit to shortstop, who's playing right of the of the base paths. Ooh, the AI is batting now. And that is a Phil Nevin, the second best Phil. Hits a home run, and Vissery's score is knocked down to only a plus one, and we're back to Vissery at bat. I know that was probably pretty uh, hectic for you viewers out there, but let me just say that um, Vissery... While pitching, gave up a home run to Phil Nevin, and now the score is 2-1 to one on their side, which means they are at plus 1.4, if, if I did my math correct. Um, Serena's at bat with a crazy bunt. Let's see if she can manage to leg out a single on this one. Oh, non, not any number. Nan, oh, just a fake out there from Phil. Phil was like, I'm going to get it, and then just pulled right back like that ball is too hot for me. Serena's really getting the three. Defense was playing in. Yeah, that's... You know, some people say Crazy Bunt is worse than the grounder, than the undergrounder. Did you guys know that? Just wanted all the undergrounder fans out there just just to sit there for a second in your thoughts. You just saw what happened there. You just want you to think about it. Just think for a second. What was different about the crazy bunt to maybe what would have happened if it was an undergrounder just a thought okay Ken up to bat hit that one I think if the game allowed it that ball would have been hit a million miles straight up in the air but I think they uh, they dampen the ball if it's hit at a certain angle like that Lena 
up to bat. Um, yeah, so anyways, the score, uh, Visitor is at plus 3.6 to JY Knights 4. So any run will give them the lead here in the bottom of the third of the World Series. Game 2, JY Knight is leading the series 1-0. to zero. It is a best of 5. Oh, what a play by Rollins. Oh, man. He dropped that and then caught it. Really bobbled it. I guess that's what they would... That's the definition, I would assume, of bobble, is to catch something that which you are dropping. Um, <clears throat> but we got Amir back. Part-time magician. Yeah, he's been change doing that outfit change. It's really freaking me out. Oh, that looks pretty nice, but that probably was a little bit high of a pitch. Amir's on, on his horse there. Can't quite do it. Oh, AI batting this time. J.Y. Knight is pitching to Bobby Bullgreen. And Bobby answers Phil. This is a Phil v. Bobby showdown, in my opinion. Those are the two players we need to keep watching for the rest of the game. Bobby and Phil, because they're, go they're going at it. They're going homer for homer. Oh, my gosh. Straight down the middle. Courtney's looking to get a hit there. Handled. Handled easily by the defense of the Phillies. Visery is now in the lead since uh, J.Y. Knight gave up that run. Bit juicy there. Was he swinging power? That might not have been wise. What was he thinking? Oh, they're bumbling and they're stumbling. Maybe he sees something I don't see in Amir in the center field. Cliff's running. He's gunning. He's going to make it to home plate unless he falls down. I think he's got it. That's an inside the parker. I'm going to eat a chicken nugget real quick. So I'm going to hide my video. Oh, wait. After this fill shot. Oh, right off the tip. She smacked it back into play. What a defensive play. Okay, I'm back. So, 4-3. to three. Everything's kosher. I don't think there's been any penalties for JY. Ruth Prout, or Proat. However, I don't know how the game pronounces it, to be honest. She's perfect. She's an assassin. She is a ground ball assassin. She will just put that ball in between all the defense and just make her way to first base every time. Very underrated player in my opinion. Five to three. Hmm. I will say that Visitor's pitching staff is so slow that they probably don't cover first and third much. So we're not gonna see that glitch. Not only does Sophie Meyer pitch, but she also hits home runs for this team. So we'll uh, we'll see if she gets another one. Oh, I like that. I would hit that ten times out of ten. And Sophie and JY Knight decide that that's time for a home run. Second home run from uh, Sophie Meyer. That is astounding, astounding performance so far from Sophie. He's gonna increase his lead to. Plus eight. So eight to three here in the, I don't know, the top of the fourth, 
We sit in that. See that blimp? Just went all blimpy. Amir, nice form, Amir. You look <laughs> looking real intimidating, Amir. Look how intimidating Amir looks right now. Never knows that. It looks like he's facing the wrong way. Like, he should be leaning. Like, looks like he's got his butt out. Like, this is his butt. And it's, but then it, like, switches, obviously. Nope, he's just pitching <laughs> pitch strikeouts while I'm talking about his pitching form. All right. <clears throat> Sophie versus Ahmed. Ahmed, will he, Ahmed get revenge? Oh, Sophie's just leaving it over the plate. Ahmed's saying, I'll take a turn on that bus, and I'll take a ride to Homer Town. Uh, as he does frequent, frequently, as we all know. Uh, that's something Viscery needed. Greg, uh, first hit, home run. Second hit, uh, seven feet. So, not, not, you know, real inconsistent hitter there. Bobby pitched decent enough to hold off the Mariners a little bit. Held them to a f four runs in their uh, in their day, basically in their pitching outing. And I don't know, was it like two and a half innings? Kristen's coming in, so now they're getting the switch. They're getting the switch about an inning and a half late compared to uh, JY Knight. So not really great for the long term. Kristen is a pretty good pitcher. Um, a Brad Radke clone, so a professional pitcher. Oh, just knows knows the first baseman's got nothing on the arm. All right, all right. Tom T Glass. See how Tom Glass is doing today. Uh, low contact. Like a 68 power, 69 power. So he can get a hold of it sometimes, but a lot of times he'll just whiff like that. I'm going to be defensive here. Going to swing line drive. Goes right to second base, who makes the throw in time magically. Uh, catcher makes the tag while facing the wrong direction. We all know home plate is a little bit of a lie in this game. Uh oh, Tom fell on his face, but he's gonna keep going anyways. Tom, nice job. Gets a little boo boo probably falling down, but makes it the second. Man, Phew, that was a tough pitch, and I think he's gotta take the out because you're not allowed to steal twice. Tom, very unfortunate out, outing on the base pass, falls down, forced to go to third base, get out. Amir, that's an impossible catch for Amir. Ooh, a little bit of brother connection there between uh, third base, or sorry, first base and pitcher. Courtney's up again. Two for three. She's got the home run. She's looking for more. She's looking to score. Two strikes. Has to be defensive and swing at that one. Lots of people over there, but nobody really cares to go to the ball or help out in any way. Uh, they figure Serena's got that. I don't know who that is, actually. Inside. Probably Serena. Figured she's just going to catch it, so why bother moving around or anything? Uh, Cliff's up to bat, and they're just Samir's just like, I'm going to give you a meatball right away. First pitch, you'll never see it coming. And he does get a hit, but unfortunately, fielder's choice. All right, Phil, three for three today. And with a home run on the other side, and a home run on possibly this side. So Phil has decided to punch their ticket to Homer Town. Phil's going to take an Uber. Not a bus, so uh, they're actually going to use their 
iPhone and order an Uber and take their take it to Homertown, 410 feet away. Really smashed it. Um, wow, Phil's MV Phil, most valuable Phil right now of this game for sure. Jimbo. Perfect hit. Hits it right to his nose where the defense can't catch it. If you see the replay here, up at the top, we're getting indication. Yep, bounced right off his nose just like we saw. Ruth. And this is the game plan. You just wait for that outside pitch. I don't, don't do it, JY. What are you thinking? Okay, Ruth's just amazing. So perfectly placed between all three fielders in a way that's maybe the better one because Ken, the best of those four down there was Kenny, Ken Griffey Jr. So maybe they're right and I'm wrong. Maybe I'm out of touch. Oh, right down the middle. Faye can't handle it. With two outs and two people on, there's a lot that you can get out of this and there's a lot that you can um, fail. So looks to be an out. And that is was the top of the fifth. Now we're at the bottom of the fifth. Last chance for this. Misery needs some company. Misery loves company is is the saying. And the company they need is runs. Because they need five. They need five runs in this inning. It's going to start off with this undergrounder. Do they have a, a crazy bunt? If there was a crazy bunt option, I'm sorry. What did we just talk about? We just, she, she got a home run from the crazy bunt last time, I think, or a triple. And now we're just going to abandon the crazy bunt. It's fine. It's just one run, but I mean, come on. All right, good start. You know, got the run. Things are really rolling. There's no outs. Kristen's meatballing it. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was close, team. That was close. We did not want that to happen. Only one out now, so we got. A chance here another swing just really swinging at everything to be honest a lot of good pitches to swing at might be able to get a better one though serena barely makes it home <laughs> nice play ooh ooh similar pitch this one goes real deep ahmed return visit to the home run station uh, now it's nine to one, so that's a plus nine point eight for Visery. One run, and Visery will take the lead. It's a big choppy chop there. Big oh, and so Greg hits a big one or a long ball, intermediate ball, and a short one today. Ellen Martinez Visery could not get the the last run they needed, but that doesn't mean that they don't have a chance here because um, the AI could score a run on JY. A little bit of foreshadowing. I saw the ending, so you know I'm just going to hint right now that the AI could score a run. Bobby has a uh, juice, so we're going to see that. Get used soon. Right after the fireball. That looks like a strike to me. Ump is blind. As we know. Technically, can robots be not blind? They might have, like, sensors, but... I mean, those don't count as eyeballs. But this is a uh, visory pitching now. I guess I forgot to mention that. It's AI batting, and that's just the end of the game. Just want to show that. 
so we know uh, that's the final score for them. And now we're back to JY Knight, who's got one last half inning to score runs to increase the lead. Wow. It's Sophie's game. Sophie is the most valuable Phil. Phil, remove your name. Sophie's the Phil now. That was a heck of a shot. 256 feet into the weird dark area into the stands. I don't know what that area is, but it is... Oh, maybe that's where the truck comes, comes through. They do deliveries there. I don't know. That's probably where they... Most valuable duck. Yeah. No ducks on these uh, on these fields, Emery. Couldn't quite make it. We were close, you know. We were just we we're just one or two, five, ten games away from this World Series. If six, seven, eight games would have went our way differently, just one, two or three, couple of runs each game, we could have been in the World Series. If we didn't have Annie Frazier and Ricky Johnson. Might have had a chance. But enough about that. We're back to the World Series. Game 2. Season 11. Backyard Baseball 2003. Uh, Reddit Backyard Baseball League. J.Y. Knight is up 2... Or so, up 1 to 0 in the series. Looking to go up 2 to 0. They are ahead 11 to 9. And they are batting to try to extend their lead. Versus Visery who is done. They're done for this game. They have a plus nine. All JY Knight needs to do is either, well, they just need to prevent the AI from scoring two runs on them right now. Um, prevent the AI from scoring two runs, and they will go up two games to zero in this series. Of course, after we check with the judge decisions on any of plays at first base, but I think we've been watching there haven't been any. So I think and there'd be no judge's decision to make for that. That is a sneaky shot down the line by Courtney. She's held up, unfortunately, by the slow, slow Ellen Martinez. Slow, slow Ellen Martinez makes it to second base. And now Cliff, who's four for four, is up to base. Bat. And up at a base, which is home base, which is a plate. Up that home plate base. Smacks it deep right field. Someone's under it. They caught it. That was too easy. They made that look too easy. Cliff looked pedestrian on that one. Did not look like the Hall of Famer he he pertort, pertorts to be. Is that how you say it? But Phil, he's in the Hall of Very Good. He's got a home run today, a double and a single. Two singles, in fact. Give him a triple. He'll go in that cycle. You get a cycle, and he'll be up by enough runs to take this, I think. It's another ball. All right, who's the player of the game right now, chat? And just, you know, just type in P for Phil, <laughs> S for Sophie. All right, J.Y. Knight can't score those runs, so he's going to have to pitch an okay in it with Kristen Sullivan just slamming that inside corner. DeMonte is not a good player. D for Duck. Ducks aren't in it. DeMonte is not going to get the MVP. That is a horrible hit, but totally whiffed by Courtney. She didn't see where that ball was going at all. She fell asleep, and the Game-winning run is at first, and Ken Griffey Jr. is up to bat. The game-winning run is at first. Ken Griffey Jr. is up to bat, and he's going for it for that corner, and it's one-and-one one count. J.Y. Knight doesn't know this, but this is 
the most important at bat for Ken Griffey Jr.'s life, and he bunts it. What was he thinking? Okay, okay, he's got one more chance. <laughs> the game winning run is at first base. Ken Griffey Jr., Lena is not the same type of hitter. We won't see a bunt, though. You're down 12 to 1, Ken Griffey Jr., and you bunt it. Oh my god. Alright, one more strike. They got one more strike in this game. He's going for the corkscrew. Maniac. Okay, he didn't he didn't go for the corkscrew. I take that back. Oh, just a normal, good old fashioned curveball. And that's the end of that game and he glitched out a little bit. I don't even do I what's the what's in the end of this? Don't want don't want to look at that. There we go. So it's spraying up those uh Screens again, right hand to seal it, right hook, okay, RH, right hook to seal it, good game. Thanks, Emery, the commentary, I'm sure, was just exhilarating for all of you. Uh, good game. Now, this game will be under under scrutiny, but 11 to 9 is what I have totaled it on my scorecard. I don't know. <laughs> NPR in the best way. Yes, this is NPR. Uh, NPR back here in baseball. I, I swear to God, there's like four people that watch these, and then they just check to see if it's the ASMR <laughs> version of back here in baseball, which is when I play it late at night, and then they stick around. Um, but I, I, I don't even know what I was saying. Alex, you distracted me. It distracted me from saying something. Um whispering to keep the kids asleep that's yeah that's a fact um thanks for joining i uh, yeah, congratulations to uh jy Knight on going up 2-0 they have to really um keep the throttle on on uh, viscery had an unfortunate uh not a great game one game two better so you know trending upwards just where JY Knight is really you know getting only about plus 10 each time you know so oh, oh yeah like I was saying uh, game will be under scrutiny and we'll see everyone has their own scorecards for this one on judgment on cheating as far as uh, using the wrong B file so we'll see how that turns out but look to me like a JY Knight victory all right uh, thanks everyone. It is 10:45. We're ending before 11. That's amazing. Central time, of course. <clears throat> Cheating, yeah. Sometimes you cheat on accident. All right. Have a. That was a good one. I will see you guys later. Bye bye.